Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are just going to be running the old J. Rockefeller to the freight yard, which means big payday. Number 66, running the oil barrels to the freight yard. Um, so we did effectively roll back the update. Um, so opted out of the beta and back to the more stable version. Um, was just having, you know, the update's great to play around with the track, but where they aren't really interactive with the trains, it doesn't really change much. And I found the stability of the beta, well, I just found it unstable. Um, it started crashing a bunch. And I really never dealt with that with the stable version, or the <clears throat> game game version, if you want to say, the non-beta version. So I did roll it back to that, and um, hopefully that fixes the stability issues. It was just too, um, I guess I found it to be too big a pain in the butt to have it crash, um... Uh, when you're trying to record and set up for recordings and things like that, it was just, um, it was too much hassle to deal with for, I guess, not much impact on the game. So, in a nutshell, I did just roll it back to the standard stable version. Um, hopefully when a little more work comes out on the beta, we get the new track in the stable version and can relay with that. Um, I'm not really sure at this point. I'm kind of looking at starting a new save spot. Um, lessons learned and see how much we um, we change things. A couple of different ideas. And um, see if we can make some of those work. So I'm not sure we'll be making that decision this week sometime. But I did want to just roll it back and see that we can get things to work um, smoother. So the cleanup process was a little bit easier on the rollback than the update. Um, the class 70s are different, so they do wreck themselves. The rest of the cars don't seem to have as much of a problem. Um, stretched out some of the links, um, disconnected some of the links, and flipped over the class 70s. That's all I've run into so far, so most of that I did just kind of quick pick up and um, get things back underway. There were no spectacular pileups or anything like the other update, or going to the beta, if you will. That changed, obviously, a little more than going back. Um, so far, you know, I just did it, so I haven't even noticed really everything that it totally changed. Oops. But um, we do know that we got the old rolling stock back and that we got the um, old class 70s back. So we are just going to put one of them through its paces and take what we have oil barrel wise. Looks like it is not going to be a full load, but we are going to take that as the guinea pig test anyway until we get back to we must have brakes on cars somewhere yeah see right there it came apart get over nope What's the story there? See now the link just straight disappeared there. Well then how did it... Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> I'll tell you what, switching back and forth between the updates gets confusing, I guess. I had just checked the integrity of this train and everything was intact. So strange that all of a sudden it isn't. Um, 
But, you know, that's why you call it a test run. We're going to just run this down the rails and see what happens. And maybe it goes okay and maybe it doesn't. I don't know. We might be starting a new safe spot sooner than we think. I guess. Um, I think this time we'll go back and just try, you know, run it with different philosophies instead of having, you know, eight, nine different locomotives. We're going to probably try to limit that maybe some. I'm not exactly sure. I am leaning more towards doing a new save spot and uh, just kind of seeing that we can change a few things, make things a bit smoother now that we know a little more and probably have a little better plan overall. So be interesting to see how much things we lay out different, I guess, just by going through twice. There we are. Boom, boom, boom. And I do have to say, now that I've actually I'm looking at them, I like the old rolling stock better. I like the color on the old rolling stock better. The uh, new stuff with the faded out look, I'm not such a big fan of. It just makes everything look older, I guess. If I'm, you know putting my two cents on it. I'm sure everybody has their own preference of what they like. But I do um, think I lean towards the this rolling stock I think is better looking. Come on. These ones are kind of a pain to line up, just truth be told. Alright, did we turn the brakes off on stuff or what? Nope, that's why. That makes sense because normally we would not have a problem loading with Class 70 because it's easy to use. That's why we use it. Uh, wrong way. Oh, it don't matter, you're just going to empty it. Drain it. Let it go. Roll out. Oh, tell me you're dropping in there. That gets so close to the back one. I'm always afraid they're just going to roll on the ground. Because we have honestly done that a few times. And these things pay pretty good. So everyone you lose is kind of a bit of a bummer. This is the only load I probably say that about, but... This one, these barrels are worth a fair amount. It is, um, we are going back to not having the um, dev speed. That's, I think, the so far, that's the single biggest thing that I miss is uh dev speed but then i've always that's probably always been my biggest complaint with the game is the speed at which we move it's um it's just too slow running and walking just is not that big of um, a big enough difference in the game has always been my opinion more speed I mean, this is great for walking, but, you know, running should be twice as fast because this is not fast. But hopefully some of that will change. Um, I've heard people talk about how the, the dev speed has been introduced for when they pick up the speed of the locomotives. So you can actually run in, you know, catch back up to your train. So hopefully that's the case. And when the... Um, new update and new speeds come out and hit the hit the main game we will be looking forward to it but um i don't know i like i said I, at the end of the day it was about stability it had nothing to do with the options it had nothing to do with the look um it was really all about stability the um 
crashing of the game with the, I believe it was, now I can't remember what it said, the Unreal Engine crashes and error codes in the update or in the beta branch. Um, I had never seen those running the um, stable version, you know, in 250 hours of gameplay um, before I went to the update. I had never seen those. So I'm hoping that um, by rolling that back, it solves the problem. I'd rather have the stable version than the um, than whatever toys are in the beta. So that's just um, my opinion on the deal. I'm sure everybody varies. Some people want to play around with the track. Some people want to play around with the trains. I look at it, I guess, at the end of the day, the uh, beta is great, but it is just a test bed. So plenty of that could change anyway. Um, that's why I never really got into like track laying tutorials with it or anything else because who's you know We don't really know that that that's the version of that that's gonna hit the game um, plenty could change before that hits the game, so I Didn't want to go too far down the rabbit hole of starting new track and laying all that out and then it something just changes and you end up doing it all anyway otherwise you're basically just laying empty track so um, for me it's about the game functioning and playing first and foremost just laying the track out there to look at it I guess doesn't do much for me um, new tools or no it's definitely the tools are nice makes for faster track laying and stuff like that but then um you know i'm kind of a i like the way that the old stuff works and maybe i'm in the rarity there or not it would definitely be nicer to have it run smoother multiplayer so the the better the track runs with the trains in the long run i mean is my understanding what they're trying to achieve with the spline update anyway um, but I do like the track laying challenge of the game with the tools that we have in the game. I always said that when I laid it too. And, you know, you, you talk about the debate between, um, survey tools and no survey tools. And I always did think it was kind of groovy that, you know, you don't have a bunch of great extra tools. And then that made us all kind of solve problems and dilemmas in different way. I guess different ways and so you saw multiple options of what different people did or had conversations with people about you know well this works for me or this is how I got by this problem da 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 and I don't know how much the the new splines may take some of that out um, simply because they are so much easier to use and faster to use that you know just running somebody else's line might be a little easier than you know whatever solution you come up with i don't know um how people look at it but i like the challenge of using that using the old tools that we had when with this original i guess um game set so i don't mind losing the new tools as much it is nice that they lay all together and much faster. I'm not going to disagree with that. So if the map was ever much bigger or something like that, I could definitely see. And maybe a blend of the two somewhere in there. I'm not sure, you know, what the real answer is. But I do have to say I like um, track laying to be part of the challenge, I guess, more so than operating the trains. I don't really want the train to be the operating challenge, so I've always been like that. I don't really like small drop spots or the um, loading process being the headache of the of the game, I guess, or the hard part of the game. I was fine with the uh, track laying being the challenge. That's just kind of how I looked at it. But... Eventually, I'm sure that'll get easier. I know part of the idea is that it becomes big multiplayer capable and much smoother. Currently, I hear it's not so smooth to run, you know, big groups of multiplayers. And I have to say from everything I've seen that uh, that would appear to be the case. It, uh, it does not run super smooth from what I've seen with 
you know, at least four or five people in it. So we'll have to see what they come up with as the game progresses. But so for anybody wondering, that was why the rollback happened. Just ease of use and crashes. Uh, couldn't go for the crashes. So we are back to the old stock. And then as I was re-reeling everything, I really did notice. I guess I do like the look of the old stock better. I like the dark wheels. I like the new paint. These look like, you know, cars we bought new instead of um, ones that have been sitting around for a while. So that's just my opinion. Feel free to share yours. Comments down below. Um... I guess the other notice I would throw out is that if we are going to start a new save spot, the idea is going to be to open it up to, to some public play and see how it works. So um, we'll be posting, like, I don't know whether we'll record some stuff live and do it live or um, just um, record, but we will do probably some live voice discords and have some people try to join the servers and see how that works um, playing through. So if you haven't joined the Discord server and have an interest in that, do that. Uh, for notifications coming up on that stuff, link is in the description down below. And I would say too, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Uh, the subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel grow. We've been picking up a bunch of new subs lately and hoping that the channel goes so we can shoot more content, more invested time, but see how that process goes. Here we come. Ready to unload. Not a full one this time, so we are not going to get our normal 7K out of this, but still should be a good payday nonetheless. Figure we'll throw it in the bank just in case we start the new save. I didn't want to leave it just sitting out there on the table. So we will get this stuff delivered. Watch it rain down. What in this game is the best payday you can go for? Just going to add a good chunk of change. Not sure how much. Obviously going to put us over 30k. Maybe towards 35. Which for us is a fair chunk of money. We've always spent it about as fast as we've been making it. So that's finally piling up. And really we've been running a bunch of back little loads. Trying to fill up all the industries. But... Back and forth with the updates has been an interesting experience. So we'll get back to some regular rail operations now coming up. And I guess we'll call that one a success. Call it an episode. Thank you much for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.